All right, welcome back guys. Welcome back to lesson number two. In this lesson, we are starting to build the task card, the task card, the card that's actually gonna show up here. So what we have now is just uh, two containers. One is for work in progress tasks and one is for done tasks, but we actually need to display some tasks. So in this um, lesson, I will show you how to make a task component. And this lesson is gonna be good to show you um, how to use Chakra UI and how simple and actually very like enjoyable, at least to me, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to use Chakra UI because it, ex it, it exposes all of the main CSS stuff as props, which makes working with it really, really cool. All right, now there's something I should have explained last time, but I forgot, apologies for that, which is that the only command that we will use is uh, to run our front end over there, or the app in general, is going to be npm run dev. So, uh, so if you already have checked out the commit, the start of lesson two, you just run that and you are golden. You can see what I see right now. You go to tasks and you see this exactly. All right, good. So I'm now in the tasks page and I will start by uh, making um, a box. So right now, the structure here is that we have this box, which is uh, showing the done tasks, and we have this box that's showing the work in progress tasks. So now this is a stack. So a stack component is basically a vertical flex component where you can specify the spacing. That's basically it. And now inside that, I have a box. This is this box, right? And which has a work in progress and has a divider too. Now, what I'll do is I'm actually just gonna have another box here. I'm just going to import another box in here. And then inside this box, what I will have is, let's say, I'm just like, just running with the flow here, but let's just say we will have uh, three texts. We will have one text for uh, the title of the, um, of the task, in this case, maybe buy milk. So this is the, the first task, and we will also have, um, Another text for another text for the category of that task. So in this case, maybe let's do um, shopping in here, shopping or maybe chores for now. Chores, all right, good. And um, let's do another text here for the details of that task. So these details here, we can do something like this: buy two liter lactose free because I have lactose intolerance, <laughs> lactose free milk. Like, why is milk capital? Oh, come on. Oopsie, lactose-free milk. Alrighty, lactose-free milk. And I would also like to put in the milk. Yes, the milk emoji. Now here, directly, you can see ESLIN telling me that you are not supposed to use an emoji in the text. You have to use that emoji and put it in a span. So let's do that. Let's make a span, put the emoji in. And the span has to have a role, so we can give it a role of, uh, in this case, it's gonna be an image. Alrighty. And the span also has to have an aria label. aria-label. And in this case, we can call it milk emoji. Emoji, all right, cool. So that should make us compliant with accessibility standards, which is really cool. So what we should see now is this, basically buy milk, chores, and um, buy two liter lactose free milk, all right? So now, of course, this is really like, really like yeah, just all over the place. So make this better, what I'll do instead of using text here, I am going to use another component called badge. So let's replace that text with badge and uh, you wait for it and then VS Code will tell you, oh yeah, I know where this is coming from. So you can import it directly here. And this badge is going to be chores, chores. Alrighty, so if you save that now, you will see this. It will uh, change slightly, okay, good. But I don't like the way this is kind of arranged. What I will do is I am going to wrap these. So that is Command Shift P, which is Control Shift P on Windows. And then you go wrap. So using Emmet, you can wrap these. And you, I'm going to wrap these in a flex which is a component that also comes from Chakra UI. Now, when you have something that you want to import, you can uh, kind of put your cursor there, press command and dot, and you'll see the options in, in Windows that is control and dot, and then you can add flex declaration, and that's how you would import it. 
Now this flex component is simply just going to basically have make a flex box. So these are going to be put in a flex box now, so you will see them uh, next to each other. But I don't want them to be next to each other, so I can do justify content, and the short version of that is simply justify. And in this case, I will do I will do space dash around, space, no, actually space dash between, space between them. Okay, good. Now you will see this really weird effect there where the chores is really not aligned with buy milk and all that. And for this, we can simply fix that by giving it align items of baseline. So the items will be aligned to the baseline, which is the line of the text. And you can see this goes down a little bit and we are good to go. Another thing also we need here, you see that this is kind of like very close to the description. And I also want the description to be, um, the details actually, to be text align of center. So just to center it a little, center it, make it look like this is the description and the body of, um, of the text that goes in there. And also uh, what I want is I want to give that flex box there some margin at the bottom so that will be mb which or margin bottom so margin bottom here and i'm going to give it three which is going to give it i think uh, 12 pixels as we'd explained before good so that is the general kind of outline of how um, things are arranged now i don't like that this is really not uh, still not like kind of a, a box sorry um, a card yet so what i will do is i'm going to give some properties to that box. So I'm going to give it a back, background of orange 300. Alrighty, good. And I will also give it a bit of padding. So padding equal three. Padding equal three. Well, when I'm on it, actually, I can just imagine that I want to give it a bit of separation between it and the list behind it. And to do that, I'm just going to give it a box shadow of small, I think. Small will work, I believe. So if let's take a look at that. Good stuff. And then the last one is I'm going to give it a rounded off medium, maybe. So just to round up the edges a little bit. That is really, really good there. Okay, now this uh, badge looks good in kind of like principle, but I don't like the colors. So I'm going to just spice it up just a little bit. And to do that, I will make sure that uh, I'm going to give it a variant color here of... Um, of cyan actually so just to change the color a little bit that really kind of it's kind of okay for now we can change it later and another one here is i'm going to give it a variant of uh, solid i don't know if that will actually change much i believe that is uh, yeah uh, yep it make it like the inverse so, okay so that looks okay for now and you can change this and it's kind it's kind of okay for now like i said it's for now it's kind of okay so this is gonna be our basic um movable or draggable uh, card and this is the very very simple design again i'm not gonna win any awards with this design but it's just a very simple design to get us started good stuff all right now what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually going to take all that box which is our component and which is like our card at this point and i'm actually gonna put it in its own component so i'll go to components folder and i will start um a file called task card task card.tsx and inside here, I will run SFC. So this is coming from simple React snippets uh, uh, extension. And if you don't have that, if I haven't shown you that, again, just a reminder, if you don't have that, just go to extension and then search for simple React snippets, simple React snippets. And this is one, simple React snippets. No, not this one, actually. No, 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 not this one, this one. Simple React snippets, that's the name by uh, Burke Holland. And it's, it's, it's good. There are many, many snippets that you can find in uh, extensions, but this one is good. I'm already used to it. Let's give it SFC, status functional component, and this is going to be called task card. All righty, all good. And what I will do is I'm actually just gonna paste back all uh, those stuff here. And of course there is a million things missing right there. So I'm gonna import uh, all the missing imports and we will be good to go right there. Okay, if I save this, then uh, the text here is always problem with the text. So you don't have text. So I need to import that one manually. I think uh, VS Code does a really good job of importing stuff for you. Sometimes they can miss something or something like that. So you can do it yourself, which is fine as well. Okay, now what I will do is I'm going to replace that 
with a task card component yes and then you can auto import this which is amazing so you save that right there and you will see no changes here but it's good uh, practice to always make sure that you refactor your stuff and make sure that you have separate files for different stuff and if you see here we have this because i'm using typescript as i've explained before we are actually having something called an interface now this interface basically tells TypeScript what types are the props that you are actually passing into this component. So say for example, we will have, um, I don't know, we will have later, we will have title, or we will have whatever. So here in the interface, uh, this is where you declare what types are your props and you, you pass that into here and then you pass it and you'll see that later. But what's good about this is that it prevents you from making silly mistakes. So if you haven't done any work with TypeScript before, I suggest that you should start. And if you haven't done any work with TypeScript before, I believe this course is going to be a really, really good start for you to get used to it and uh, learn more about it and see how it can actually empower your work and it can make you um, a better, really, in my opinion, really, it makes you a better programmer. It makes your job easier. At first, you really hate it because it can, you can feel it's the burden, but it will make your job easier slowly. All right, that's it for this uh, lesson. In the next lesson, we will actually start building a task list and populating that task list using that component just there. I'll see you guys in the next one.